Hi guys, it's Dan from Fat Rank here. And today I'm going to be breaking down our blog post, You Don't Know What You Don't Know. Now that might be a bit confusing for you, and even this graph alone, just looking at it, is a bit confusing for me initially when I had to look back onto this blog and actually describe everything. But as soon as you start reading the actual uh, content, you start you know, actually seeing what this blog post is about. It actually all makes a lot of sense, and it's actually very simple. Uh, to break down the phrase, you don't know what you don't know, and why it's actually one of our blog posts, uh, the reason for this is because it's the idea that uh, within every industry that everyone works in and every kind of um, you know sector of, of business or whatever it is, or just whether it's life skills or whatever it might be, uh, there's many things that are unknown unknowns. So uh, that's basically things that uh, you don't even really know exist right now. But at some point, someone's gonna uh, you know bring it up, and you're gonna be you know you're gonna be like, wow, I had no idea that was even a thing. I didn't even know that existed. Um, there's obviously things that you don't know. So for example, there might be a part of your industry that, um, say for example with SEO, there might be PPC. A lot of people do SEO and don't do PPC. Uh, so they're aware of what PPC is, but they don't know anything about it. So they don't really know how to actually carry that out. That would fall into the what you don't know category. Um, but then things, you know, in SEO, um, for example, something like how to get into the knowledge graph, a lot of people don't even know that the knowledge graph is something you can even manipulate. Uh, some people just assume that the knowledge graph is just selected at Google by random and there's no way to actually get in there. So that would be an example of something that you don't know you don't know because it's something that you're, you're completely unaware of even being a possibility for your business. And um, that's obviously from a business standpoint. If then looking at it throughout life and life experiences, there's going to be a lot of things that you know, I mean, the phrase, you know, you learn something new every day is there for a reason. There's a lot of things that you learn that, you know, maybe it's a new word or maybe it's a kind of something bigger than that. Maybe it's a way of life, a way of thinking about things that you'd never really consider to be, um, you know, a possibility or something that has ever really crossed your mind. And that would definitely come under the you don't know what you don't know section. Now, the reason we've made this blog in relation to uh, learning, in relation to kind of learning through business and learning through life and everything is because we want people to understand that they need to be open about the things that they have no idea on. Uh, some people are actually intimidated when they have, you know, something come up uh, that they have no idea about. They think, you know, I, I don't know about that, so I'm just going to ignore it or whatever. You need to be open to these things. Be open to the fact that you're someone, and everyone is someone, that will always uh, not know everything and there's always things to learn. And basically be open to the idea of learning new things, essentially, is the, uh, is the message here. So going down into the content, we've actually got a mindset risk uh, management section here. We've actually said like any risk management strategy, you plan out uh, then and there the four categories below, which are the known knowns, so it's just things that you know, so knowledge, uh, the unknown knowns, so the, Im the impact is unknown, but the existence is known, for example, untapped knowledge, so it's things that you, you know, it's there, but you're not really actually going into. For example, some people might you know, naturally be really good at uh, math if they applied themselves to it, but they don't, you know, have the uh, motivation to actually go and do that. But naturally, they are able to pick it up and do it really well. So that would be maybe an unknown known. Uh, known unknowns, uh, like for example, risks, and then unknown unknowns, which is just things we have no idea of, which is what I was discussing earlier on. Uh, we've actually got this kind of graph here. It's quite complicated, again, if you look at it straight away. But you guys can actually work that out for yourselves if you want to read through the blog. It's quite interesting when you actually go and do that for yourself. Uh, there's some quotes down here from certain people. Again, kind of uh, going through the same things for certain, you know, successful people within industries. Uh, they've actually said that, you know, after they've kind of had their career span out, you know, 34 years, probably longer, uh, they've actually kind of looked back and said they wish they'd been a bit more kind of aware of this as, as, as a thing and aware of the things that you have no idea about, and a bit more open to surrounding yourself with that kind of, um, you know, knowledge, which is, again, exactly what we go through and say here. We're basically saying that, you know, the power of networking, the power of talking to people within industries and understanding different things uh, within them it opens up doors to, you know, understand these unknown unknowns and actually get into people's head and, and learn about kind of how they're doing business. And they'll get the exact same thing from you. It's really reciprocal. And it's a very interesting kind of uh, process when you get into it and, you know, delve into there. But the more you work alone, the less you collaborate with people, then the more you kind of go through the routine, you're not really going to come across these kind of, uh, these kind of, uh, not necessarily problems, but these, uh, you know, there'll be times where something that you've never seen before in your industry hits you and you're like, wow, I need to get on that. I need to start doing it. Um, so it's not necessarily a problem. It's more of a kind of a problem to solve, if anything, you know, it's, it's a reason to go and attack it and to learn about it and to understand it more. Again, it's just kind of saying more about, you know, you never know what's around the corner and kind of striving to improve, understanding that that's kind of part of your graph of the things that you don't know about. It's not necessarily things that you're aware of and think, okay, I need to learn that. It's things that you can be completely unaware of that can just hit you one day and you're like, wow, I need to I need to do that. And you need to just be open to it, really. That's kind of what this whole thing is. But we really recommend you guys give this a read, particularly this section here. Obviously, it's good to work that out um, for yourself. And obviously, just kind of check out more about uh, what this is and see more quotes from people and all that. But uh, that's a basic summary, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys later.